and no emotions. Because the angles will give you a strategic advantage over, the sh over your enemies. Freaking tetragrammaton cleric up in this bitch. I'm not filming you, so it's not my <laughs> Oh, <okay. laughs> So today I uh, had a friend who actually got his hands on a Terran Tactical Combat Master. Uh, this one's in the Glock 19 size, and uh, as you can see right here, it says Tactical Innovations Combat Master. Okay, it's the Master of Combat, which is clearly why John Wick picked this set of guns for John Wick 2, which was a much harder level than John Wick 1. He's got a uh, coated barrel. Uh, this is their black colored slide because they offer some different colors like uh, different grays and stuff like that. It's got a fiber optic front sight which is absolutely useless with a do it defense mount on it because you can't see the fiber optic at all so that actually works really well together. Uh, we got an RMR on there and basically the do it defense mount just puts it up on there so it's super high because you know high life is the right life. I believe this is a uh, RMO6 so three and a quarter inch uh, or three and a quarter MOA dot um, and it is adjustable and uh, he's got the APL com uh, APL compact light so it's flush at the front of the Glock 19 for concealed carry because clearly this gun is designed for concealed carry with the extra large uh, magazine uh, base plate as well as the super high RMR um, so yeah basically you know just tuck that right in there and uh, all the ladies will really love you for that it's got a factory trigger shoe in there, but I believe they did some polishing on the trigger. Um, so it's, it's got a pretty nice trigger in there, uh, at least so we'll see. And uh, this is a pretty nice mag well because, you know, you got to reload super fast because high speed low drag. And um, you got the gray Terran tactical base plate because uh, you need those extra rounds, right? So that's kind of how that goes. Um, I really like this, um, I don't know what they call it, like a scallop or... Um, basically like a mag release reduction here. And so they stipple the frame, so there's no finger grooves. Um, and then you've got this scallop here, which makes it super easy to hit if you've got little bitch hands. And so basically, you know, you can get your thumb right up in there, touch the mag well, just rub it really fast and it pops the magazine out for you. Um, it's also stippled on this side right here of the frame and not on this side because clearly this is a custom job. So they only did the other side. Um, so that's, you know, for customer, um, customer specifications. Um, and yeah, right here you also have a window to see the, um, see the barrel because otherwise, you know, why would you get your barrel coated if you couldn't see it through the slide? So uh, that's, you know, that's really important part of this. And uh, the most important thing is Taren put his uh, logo on there. So, um, you know, clearly that's, it's really to show you how good this gun is, is that it's got his logo right on the top. Um, and that logo actually acts as um, a little bit of a, a grip texture so that you can use that logo to press check the gun because that's what you do when you have a high speed low drag gun. So, uh, yeah, let's put some rounds down range and see how it does. Okay, so just a quick correction. This is actually a Duick defense mount which doesn't really matter because I still can't make use of the red fiber optic front sight anyway, so I don't know. I don't know why that would make any difference. Um, the other thing is there will be no mag dropping today because, you know, you wouldn't want to ruin the finish on your Terran tactical base plates, so you can't drop these on the ground. You have to gently pull the magazine out and then reload your other magazine before you can continue shooting. Just wanted to let you know that, so let's shoot. Aside from the fact that I'm a horrible shot, uh, the trigger is actually really smooth. Uh, they did a really great job on that. It's interesting that they used the standard trigger shoe, but I mean, the trigger feels nice, so I'm not gonna complain about that. But uh, this is a pretty smooth shooting gun. so many rounds in this extra base plate that like I was like man when is this gonna end I was just trying to get to the end of it you know just because I was tired of shooting midway through so uh, definitely helps a lot when you're uh, when you're trying to get that string of fire going but uh, in the middle you just kind of start to get bored a little bit but uh, the gun actually shoots really well um, I think they did a great job on it. It's just really smooth. Recoil impulse is really nice. Um, although that could just be that it's a Glock and you know Glock shoot really well. So I mean that might not have anything to do with Terran, but uh, you know it. I mean it seems like it's a pretty nice gun. Um, I will say though the no finger grooves and the um, and the relief cut here is is actually really comfortable. Um, 
hitting the mag release with that scallop is actually pretty nice too. Um, there's a stainless pin in here. I don't know if that actually gives you any performance value, but I just wanted to note that you can see the stainless in there. So it's a silver pin, which clearly makes it way cooler. Um, but yeah, let's shoot some more. Didn't see you there. Uh, yeah, you know, just uh, practicing my John Wick moves, you know, because because uh, it's all about like how you move around the target, right? And that's how you dodge bullet. No, wait, we're talking about the Matrix, which kind of Keanu Reeves is actually also a star in. But uh, anyway, I'm just trying out the gun, you know, and uh, giving it a little bit of a test run, and uh, it's smooth. It's I mean, look at that headshot. Okay, it's not in the A zone, but it's in the head. Okay, so I clearly got him in the nose, and that's in the T-zone, right? So he clearly went inside and bounced around and mashed up his brains. But, uh, I mean, yeah, this thing is awesome. Uh, actually, as much as, as much fun as I'm making it, I actually really like this gun. Um, I'd say it'd be cool to actually have it milled for an RMR so it'd sit a little bit lower because, to be honest, I'm not even looking at the red dot. Like, I'm just shooting at the target. I'm close enough, I'm not gonna miss. But um, basically, I'd say it'd be great to have it milled into the slide. Um, like my other gun, I think uh, it's a little bit nicer. The, the mount though, for a non-permanent modification, like you could go back to having a rear uh, iron sight, I think it's fine. I mean, it works great. Uh, we were shooting this earlier at 20 yards and it was, eh, it was, it was hitting bullseye. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much all I got for you. So uh, thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Um, we also have more stuff coming out soon and also I have a Facebook page so you can definitely check that out. I do post things on there that you won't see on the YouTube channel. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs> okay, I'm actually kind of happy about this. Okay, like, I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was gonna be really worse. <laughs> Especially this one, okay? The headshots on both of these targets, fantastic. By the way, should we flip these around now? Gosh, <laughs> <laughs>